Alright, so we're gonna do a quick playthrough of uh, Fishing Barren Sea. Um, I haven't seen too many around of uh, setting crab pots and retrieving them, so I'm just gonna show you guys how I do mine. Um, not you really used to uh, just streaming or you know, recording my video, my gaming, so bear with me here. Hopefully it's not too boring. Uh, this game has a lot that I really like. Uh, there is a few things, you know, a few things here and there that are not perfect, but I hopefully they'll keep working on it because it's a, it's a very cool game. So uh, well, I'm going to continue my career and see if it loads up here. It should load fairly quickly. All right, I had a uh, a smaller vessel, which I'm going to change now by going to the dock. We're going to go to purchase boat and I already own the, uh, the crab boat which is the Svalbard. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, whoa. Something happened there. Weird. What? Are you serious? In God's green earth. Yeah, so the game has a lot of bugs, <laughs> obviously. I had already uh, locked the, uh, the boat. And I had... Uh, and I had updated it, up, you know, upgraded it all the way, actually. And when I swapped boats, I guess, uh, either I sold it or... Anyway, whatever. It's fine. I can get it alone, so let's go ahead and purchase the boat. Sure did. All right, so I go to the dock, and we're gonna go to town. Actually, town, and we're gonna go to the bank and borrow oh, two million. It's fine. We'll make that back fairly quickly here. Doing um, just fishing crabs. Um, I'm curious. Did it? This did it actually sell the other boat? No. Didn't. Oh yeah. So that's a bug. There you go. There's a bug there. My boat. Uh, I don't. I owned it. I, I owned it free and clear. I paid back 13 million loan. And yet, when I logged in today, it wasn't uh, weird. Anyway. So let's get back to the fish market. Not only did I own it, I owned. I would say like 30 or 40 pots. That's crazy. That is crazy. Anyway, whatever. So let's buy some bait. We're over here for you can buy a hundred crown, a hundred grams worth of bait for a hundred crown, and I just max it out. I think it's like a hundred kilos, ten kilos. I wish it was like a maximizer or whatever, but there isn't. So you just could literally have to clicking. There's a couple little things here and there that just don't add up, make sense, but whatever. For example. Perfect example. Oh, there you go. 15 kilograms. Um, if you try, it is abysmally horrible to try to navigate in heavy weather. I mean, it is bad. I'm just gonna do 20 pots for right now. 20 large pots. Uh, because what happens is after 20 hours, the pots start losing uh, yield, and then it's not worth it. So uh, we're up to three million still. Cool. So the inventory, I'm look at the inventory. Yeah, I still got all the upgrades, so that's good. Alright, the fish prices, uh, the crabs are pretty expensive. Which is what we're gonna go for that. And then we're gonna upgrade again. I had upgraded all of this. I don't care for the storage for this boat because it's, it, it can already hold so much that this is just a waste of money at first. But the engine, for sure, we should go for. Because even with that good engine, it's still beyond horrible. I would say upgrading radar because radar is what allows you to um, definitely your side thrusters. But yeah, the radar uh, basically it uncovers territory, you know, fog of war, map, whatever. So it helps, it's helpful. And I would actually show you guys a little tip because it is deathly boring to uncover the whole map. So the best way to do it is uh, let me just go get my crew here. Down. Sure, I have. Nope, I don't have anybody. Yes, I have two girls. All right. Uh, so we're gonna return them to. Yep. We're gonna put the boat. Uh, 
both on the on the ship. One is a really good cook, the other one can set pots, and I just sort the crab myself most of the time, depending if they're going to be setbacks or not, but you'll see as we go. So, right now, we should be good to go. Let me just make sure. Yeah, we got fuel, I got, you know, hulls repaired. Let's change the name of the ship. I had called it the Northwestern before, the one that disappeared. Yeah, I know, it's not creative, whatever. I like it. Um, so, yeah, so now we're gonna hit the go fishing button. And off we go. And since we have side thrusters, you can use Z as in Zulu, or C to move your ship sideways, which is incredibly cool. Especially with this ship, because this ship, it is impossible to steer, you know, with any kind of precision. I hate the work lights, because they actually bloom is so high on this that it messes up your, what you're trying to do. You can't see. Um, considering this was done on the, on the Unreal Engine, I think they missed so many opportunities to make it better. For example, if there is no transparency in the water, then you can't see under the water. Um, another thing that I notice is you can't throw a hook for the pots. That they actually missed that missed out on that because the buoy bounces and reacts to the ship, which is great, you know? So they could have really made it a little mini game. Um, it's not a big deal, but you know, it's more to the form anyway. So Let's see here. Map should be mostly uncovered. Let's see. Come over here to the fish population. King crab. We have a very large biomass there, which we're going to take advantage of. So we're going to try to lay and actually have small pots soaking. Huh. Forgot about those. Anyway, so we're going to go lay some traps right here on this biomass. Um, I'm probably going to lay one set and then another set. I have 20, so I'm going to lay 10 and then 10. But uh, the little trick I was going to show you guys, and I don't want the crab to disappear here, but uh, to fa you could actually fast travel to the edge of the map, okay? Right here. And then you're going to fast travel towards the edge of the map. And this is to discover more of the map. Then you're going to hit, um, you're going to go to the ship, and the ship's radar will actually pop up a large, you know, hole in the map. There you go. So you discover a large area. Now we'll do that again. And again, this is for when you're, you know, when you want to discover the map, you want to sit there and do it. You just hit M again. And the radar should open up more of the map. There you go. So you could do that literally the whole map. Uh, if you're not going to be bothered by, you know, to, to sail everywhere, especially with ships or boats that are very very slow like this one is very very slow and it's actually a the ship is not that big considering the horsepower it's got and, you know it, it's just, it should be more nimble but those are little things here and there I'm not, I'm not too worried about um so we're gonna start here at the edge of the biomass i'm gonna fast travel there um and start fishing start setting our pots setting is very simple and then let's just uh, fast travel there, and then we'll go from there. See, that took about four hours to get up there. And these pots are about ready to pull. But I'm not sure. I don't think I could actually pull the, these pots with the, with the large ship. So I'm going to let them go. I'm going to let them get lost. It's fine. It's not that much gold or crown or whatever. Um, I believe that's what the currency is called. I don't, don't quote me on that. Uh... Alright, so we're sitting on the biomass right now, and then we could start setting pots right now if we wanted to, and that's, I think, what we're going to do. We're going to try to set 10 going across, going straight up, then turn around and just go and come through the biomass again. And if these pots do well, then we're going to go ahead and, um, and, you know, throw them back so we can catch more crap. Now, you could go to your crew management, and then we're going to have the one that's good at pot baiting and setting setting, ba setting baits, or setting pots. And she'll come out, and she'll sit there and, you know, put the bait in the pot, and then, you know, throw it overboard for you while you drive the boat. And then Kristen, I have, because she's a good cook, and I have her to sort crabs. So right now, she'll be cooking, because the food actually multiplies the, the rate at which your crewmates recover. Because they do have stamina, and they do run out of stamina. Right now they're losing. The one that's setting is losing 0.2 per hour. The one that's cooking is losing 0.5 per hour. If she is hauling, 
and she still isn't going to do because she's idle. But when she's working, it'll go up to 0.5. In any case, we're going to go ahead and, uh, and start moving so we can set some pots. And the way you're going to do that is you're going to change view with a V as in Victor V. So it puts you up here. And then you're going to hit the F button to stop driving and walk down to the deck. Close the door, you know, it's, it is the uh, North Sea, so it's, you know, we have a bit of weather, could ruin everything, you know. <laughs> Alright, so then the way you set pods is you can come over here behind this crane here once you walk out. And I like to hit the drive button first, and then this allows you to start moving the vessel. And I'm going to be moving it about three quarters of the way on the throttle. So I'm moving roughly at about, uh, I don't know, I want to get moving at about, I would say, five or six knots. Five at a miles per hour. You know. But the point is, I want to be moving. I definitely don't want to be sitting. Because the idea is to spread out the pots even. So then you hit the B key again to change your view. And you're going to hit the operating crane, which is the easy network. Pots. Any pot, really. Yep. And you're gonna come over to the sorting table and set it back down with E. Then you're gonna go grab the next one. So now she's gonna sit there and bait in, close the pot, and launch it. Just basically go ahead and rinse and repeat. You can do it right away. I mean, it depends on how far away you want the pot spaced. Me, I don't mind them being close. Um, in any case, she won't. Uh, the game won't let you toss it because of the 15 meters from each other. So I fear that I feel that the, you know, but set it there and that she will go ahead and set the pace. You can spread them out obviously by holding onto the pot. I don't feel like to do that because she does a pretty good job just the, the amount of time it takes to set. Now, what I don't know is if, if someone who's less experienced than her in setting pots could do it quicker or slower. And you could also keep track of what you're doing by hitting M. It does stop the clock, so it's like pausing the game basically. And then you can see the pots that you're setting. You know? And then it, you can see already that they're starting to soak up the biomass because they're breaking into the yellow, they're making it green. You know? so, Spots will be ready to go, but if I am afraid of switching ships again, I'm losing that ship because it costs me a lot. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so we'll go back to it, hit him again, we'll just keep going. Just set more pots. You do change the pots, uh, the crane's position with WSD, WASD. So, you know, it's like a giant claw game. Just keep moving. Just keep placing the pots until you set your time. And it's pretty straightforward once you figure it out. At first, it was a mess. And I will warn you that the game does crash um, if you have it in window, full screen window mode. It likes to be full screen, I guess if there is kind of memory or something that drives it to crash. My system is not the best. I have a I for a quad core i7 2600K and it's kept up with the games that I play, so I have to tell the to upgrade. I mean it's still kicking butt, it's from 2011. So you know I do have a 1070 and that suffices for what I use it for. Uh, so I haven't really felt the need to, to really run an SSD, and that's why the load times are so Let me see here. We've, lay, we've set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and this will be the 10th, I believe. Yes, this will be the 10th one. So, do we still have room to set? Yeah, we actually do have room to set. But, here's the thing. If you set them to like if you set too many pots, then you're not gonna be able to fish them properly. So I like setting ten, then wasting about five, six um, hours, and then setting another ten. 
you want to space them out. If you can do them all at once, when the first ones hit 20 hours, the other ones are going to get go over the 20. And when you start going over the 20, it's like it fishes the most to 20, and then it starts slowly dropping off and then becoming quicker and quicker until basically you're hauling, you know, for 50 pounds or 50 kilos of, of crab, which is, you know, not worth the investment you're putting, you know, the amount of time you're putting into it. That's why I like setting the time. So this will be the last one we're going to set here. And then we're going to go ahead and go to the, to the outside view. We're going to set my crew, especially her, to go rest. I'm going to let the one that's cooking keep on cooking. And then I'm going to go to the map and try to waste some time by running around the map, basically. Um, let's see. Let's see if I can over here and that's at the other 10 going down this way but I do want to waste a little bit of time uh, you can't I don't see that you can anchor and waste time so the way I waste time I just run around I don't know maybe not the most efficient I mean there there might be things I don't know about this game yet but it is it is fairly cool so, you know there's not too many games for when it comes to fishing computer games, not good ones anyway. Um, so it's kind of cool to have one. And it's very similar to uh, Delia's Catch, I guess, which is maybe what they were going for. Alright, so there, I'm up, up there I'm in the biomass again. So I want to start dropping those spots. I, I wasted a few hours now. They have about 9 hours soak time. I actually wasted a little more than I wanted. But that's fine. So we're going to go back to M, which is manual. Or no, to uh, bring up the, you know, the ship. And as you can see, I'm still on the deck. I'm still driving to the rear. And we're gonna go ahead and get get a little. Um, I would say about to about six knots, or six miles an hour. I like I like roughly six. I mean, we could do a wide open throttle. I think, but it I think it goes up to ten or twelve. I think five or six is fine. We go back to our crew management. She's already cooked four meals, so there's no need for her to be around. She can be idle. And Victoria, which is the pop baiter, can come out. Go ahead and get her going here. We start setting again. So E is to grab, put over to the table to, uh, it, you know, pops up. And then hit E again to drop it. It's pretty stuff, straightforward. Um, another thing, another little gripe that I have with the game is that you cannot line the pots correctly when you try to put them back. Like right now, if I were to try to put it up on top of this one, it wouldn't be, you know, lined up. It just ends up being weird. And there's no way to change the view to line it up, which would have been a nice touch, but whatever. That's not that big a deal. The game is still Alright, so let's go ahead and set the rest of these pots. Let's go ahead and get some more pots out. Sorry if I'm annoying for a ramble on. Uh, just let me know and drop a comment. I'm not gonna ask you to subscribe if anyone else does. Just you know, I just put it up there to see if I can see any. Figure those that need it, I can help. So this game kind of like it frustrates you at first, but then you do it a little bit, and then you start getting into it. You start seeing it for what it is. Uh, it's just a straightforward fishing simulator. You know? It's fairly good at some things, it's not the best at others, but overall it's a good, good solid game, especially for the price of the game. And I do recommend the DLCs. Um, they put, you know, they're putting time into it, they're polishing here and there, they're fixing things. That's, uh, that's a great thing. Let's make sure we're still in the crowd. Yes, we are. But, you know, I don't mind uh, coming up with my support. And you should do down to three pots. We've got two more left on the dock here for the deck. Let's see, as you can see, the ship is moving for the boats when we just straight line. You can see all the pots in the rear. They're nice and orderly. Now, when you run off, we're going to go ahead and grab the pots. It's a different story. 
is not so simple. Either. Especially with Roman seas, it is controls are murderous if you don't uh, if you're not used to it. All right, so we're clear. Last spot in the water. Let's see where she goes. So we'll go ahead and get that view. It's uh, it was pretty. I mean, it's beautiful. It's it's nice, you know. Got the horn. Sounds like Chewbacca, but still pretty cool. So it is a pretty cool game. They can do, like I said, they can do a lot more, and I do hope they keep developing it because it's worth it. Um, then here you can check your light info. That's all the gear you have in the water. So you have pots that are there for a day now, and three hours. Actually, after a day. Oh, small pots. Yeah, those are the small pots. So the large pots are have been in the water for about ten hours, eleven hours. So you don't want them to go over twenty possible. I'm go ahead and set my crewmate back inside. I'm go ahead and feed each one of them. So you see when you feed them, right now this one's resting, it's one, it's plus one per hour her stamina. She's gaining. When you feed them, it goes up to plus two per hour. So that's why it's important that you feed them when you're resting. Because then you don't recover their their, uh, their life force or their you know, stamina a lot quicker. And they will um, slowly gain um, experience points and I'm not sure how they get distributed it might be what I'm guessing is just based on what I've seen is I'm guessing that they go into whatever it is that they're being good at or that whatever it is they've been performing for example I've had Victoria's pot baiting and setting and she's almost full on that so you know and then Kristen, I've had cooking, and she's doing great, and she's also, I've had her sorting crabs, and she's doing a cracker job with that, you know, and she's doing really good. So, right now, we're going to go ahead and get ready to, to haul back. These are going to be lost, but it's okay. I can't, I can't haul them with this boat. I have to haul them with a the big boat. But anyway, and what I'm going to do now is just, uh, you know, drive around here. Just to see if I can get these spots to close to 20. So I can start hauling back so you guys can see how you haul back. As you can see, time passes. Move around. Yeah, here we go. 17 hours almost. 19 hours now. Oh, I went over. Ah, it's okay. Not a big deal. So we're gonna get close and we're gonna start hauling pots. I always want to approach them. Nope, that was. Yeah, you'll see now. You want to approach them a little bit far away because they are incredibly hard to line up to with this particular ship. A boat. <laughs> it's really a boat, it's not really a ship. Um, so, as you can see, them it's up here. It's the first one. And we're gonna go ahead and I'll try to save my crew to the last minute because you don't really need them on deck. But first, we're gonna look at the first spot and see what we're gonna do with it. It might be a, a uh, my 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 uh, be throwing it back, so a throwback. Let's try to get some more crab because the crab is still here, from you can see the biomass is still there. So if they're still fishing good, like if I catch a good enough amount, I would say anything over. 200, you know, 100, 150 kilos, 200 kilos, I would set back. And you could just put her either on sorting crabs or bait and set, which means that one will be sorting crabs, the other one will be baiting and setting. So now all you do is basically you line up the, the ship, put the, put them to sort crabs, and, you know, work your engine, slow down. line it up, go up to it, and then the, um, yeah, there you go, so the little pop-up comes up there, just try to be as close to it as possible, there you go, it's green, so we can haul, do you want to haul the pot, by hitting E, you, uh, you, you know, you bring up the prompt, and yes, you got the crane, and you bring it all the way aft to where the pot is, which you hit E again, which will be the pot up, Place it on the table. You can move it around everywhere, but you want to place it on the sorting table. You can put it down. You cannot put it down on the deck until it's clear. As you can see, we've got a lot of crab. 
So you can let them sort it, but what I like to do is I like to get off the crane and go help sort, just because it is much quicker than that. Now, from what I saw, I see that we got a lot of crabs, so I'm going to actually put her to, uh, to set the pot again. You can come over here and sort the crabs. That's a female, the ones with a round little button there, the females, the ones with... Uh, that's another female which you have to throw away. That's a male. They have like a little weird shape on the bottom. That's a female. It's a thousand chrome. Fine for every female you have on board. So you don't want the females. You want only the males. Alright, and then we caught 405 kilograms of crabs. So that's 80 king crabs. And that's worth setting back. So definitely want to have her setting the pots. Which is right here in Victoria. Put her in the setting the pot. So now what she's gonna do is she's gonna go and bait the pot and drop it in the same place. As you guys can see here. Bam, perfect. Alright, so now we move on to the next one. This is painfully slow by the way, just so you then you can see as the ship is filling up or the boat uh it's got 405 kilograms of crab now and that's just one pot so that means that these pots are all going back in the sea and so we're going to get a lot more out of this now the sea is calm right now so it's very easy to keep it online when it's not calm it's not so easy as soon as you get green you can go ahead and haul in the pot go to the crane grab the pot put it on the block put it on the sorting table Crab. Now normally if the, the crab count was low and I want to remove that, that trap, you just grab it right away and set it on the deck out of the way. But right now we're actually going to throw it back female, male, female, female, a lot of females, female. They take a while to sort the crabs, so you know, it's much better. This way. If there's a better way, please drop a comment down below and let me know. 525 kilos on the pot there, and we already set it back, so that's, that's a winner. We already got almost a thousand um, kilograms of crab, and I think they're going for like 100, 110, 120 crowns per pound right now, or per kilo. So uh, you do get a lot of crown this way. I'll be able to pay back the loan probably from this haulback. Just move on to the next one, and it's that simple. That's pretty straightforward once you figure it out. So yeah, I might end up speeding the video up. Not sure. Just want to bore you guys. It does get kind of boring after a while. There's again, this is uh, this game is such a good rough draft. They they can do so much with it, so so much that I hope they do. Probably, you know, be able to see it the ship, see the propeller, um, see the trap coming up. That'd be kind of cool. Change the camera around a bit. Male, 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 this is a good one. Male, male, male. Wow, it's a really good one. It's going to be probably over a thousand pounds. Or a thousand kilos. Sorry, I'm, that's not going to be pounds. It's a female. About 629. Uh, Alright. The biggest, tra uh, the biggest trap I've had is about 1,000, 1,100 kilos for one set, which is pretty good. So yeah, you can see that the other pots are... I've been in the water for about 23 hours, so the continued fish good. Remember, the other ones were 10 hours different, so once we finish with the first 10, we have to give it a few. But we're doing it right now. I just like going down there and sorting. I wish it was a quicker way to sort, but maybe that the controls were moved closer to here. Or whatever. I'm kind of get used to it. That doesn't bother me anymore. Female, female, male. Male, 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 
female, male, you can see the little shape, female, uh, when I first started I had no idea what the males and females were, so I was throwing everything in there, so as you can imagine I got a lot of fines, so I figured it out. Anyway, I hope you guys are still with me, not bored. Um, this is something where, you know, you have to like it, you have to be into it. If you watch the series, we still got one, two, three, four, five, six pots in this string. I got all the other pots we set out there. So, you know, just working through the string. As you can see, when you catch crab, do you do, you know, diminish the biomass. So you can see it's making like a wedge there. And the biomass does change with time, so they'll pop up somewhere else. Right now, they're they're not too far from uh, Hammerfest, which is the main port. Um, and I have no idea if there's more crab out here. I mean, I haven't really checked out here. I haven't needed to. So, anyway, let's get back to it. They will sort them on their own, but it takes, I found, it, I just see that it takes so long for them to sort it out and sort the crab. That is so much better for me to just go and sort it myself. Just keep in mind she is sorting while you are sorting, and as you can see, she can't set that pot because I stopped the boat. So, if she were to try to set that pot, she would set it within 50 meters of the other pot, which the game won't allow. That was 850 kilos. So once we move a little, it should allow her to set it. Let's see here. Now, if we don't set the pot, and you have a pot on the block, by the time you get to the other one, what it'll do is it'll stack it for you. So that's a nice, nice little trick so you don't have to stack them more and be stacked even. So right now what's going to happen is that pot's not going to go back in the water. It should have. But nope, what it does is it, stock, it stacks it on the deck. That's a nice little trick. What I'll do is I drop that one pot, I'll drop it at the end of this. Go from there. I'll drop it at the end of the string. So we're going to have one bit of string there so you can deploy the pot within 50 meters of fishing gear. That's fine. They were kind of close together, so we just spread them out. These are all males. Male. That's a good pot. See, like this pop up right there, it's intrusive. Best. It's kind of hard. If I didn't know how to look for them, that was 756 kilos. So that's another pot that's going to be stacked. So now there's going to be a big gap between the other pots. I might have set them too close together, so perhaps I was wrong. Anyway, it's fun nonetheless. So this one will get stacked again. Still doing pretty well. As you can see, the pods are full. Step. As you can see, she baits it. Bait right there. And yeah, I don't know why. I think they're too close to the front one, the female. Female. Male. I don't know why it keeps I am too close to it in the front there. It's fine. Let me just go to the next set. 
there's three more left. And then we'll just set them across. Either way, it'll help me catch more fish in those spots. Since the uh, it's gonna be untouched, the biomass of crab. So let's go ahead and haul that pot. I'm getting close to being done there. That took me set. Again, if you guys have a better way of doing this, please don't hesitate to drop some comments. Um, if you haven't tried the game, you should go try it. It's really cool. If you're like me, you're too fishing and grabbing. Um, female. Female. Another female. Another female's in that one. Male. Oh, female. Let me drop it now. See, that's a bug until I go here. I believe I had to put the male, that female in the, in the bucket. I'm not sure if it does or not. I'll let you know once I weigh in, once I go to the dock. So that's 436 kilos worth of crab. Pretty cool. Next one, and that one she was able to set because they weren't so close together. So for the next set, we'll go ahead and set them slightly apart. By the way, you can have the crabs in your holding tanks for eight days, from what I'm reading. I haven't tested that yet. I usually just go in and, and you know sell them right away. But I I have seen them sit there for up to 20 hours, and they've been fresh. So, you can check on your catch from your UI. Um, where you're looking outside. Boom. Watch her go ahead and make the trap up. Pretty cool. Female. Female. And then again, pop up. Uh, it should uh, it should be so intrusive to where I can see what I'm doing. Female, see that bug? That's very buggy. Uh, male, female, male. We got 262 kilos. We got one pot left. We've gotten 4,800 kilos of fresh fish, which you can look at here in your storage. That tells you how many days fish will begin to rot after 8 days. And then after 20 days, it will not, after 14 days, it will not be sellable. There we go. Let's see if fish will work on Is I'll let the tide run out on the other traps and go ahead and catch them up also. Let's go ahead and help them sort. She's gonna set this one back and then I'm gonna set the last four, the four that we stacked because they were too close together. I'm gonna go ahead and set them out again. Female, male, male, male. Hey puppy. Alright, so we'll go ahead and go into the first person view. Start moving. Once we're clear of the pot, you can see it. And we'll go ahead and set the other ones. Grab the pot where it's set. Block or on the sort of table. Oh, and I just unlocked my uh, high certificate, skipper certificate. Pretty cool. Um, not interested in that right now, though. 
eventually you, as you go traveling, as you go around, you'll end up unlocking them. I'm sure you know that if you watch it this far. And my backhand is getting really good. He's setting the pot very quickly. So, our skills going up. So I have to wait a whole bit so that they're not so close together. And I'm not making the same part as before. Let's make sure we're still in the crab. Yep, we're very much in the crab. All I did is just make that stream longer. As you can see, she's getting really good at setting the pots. Set it, and it takes her. Oh, it's gone. That might be a bug too, I'm not sure. But anyway, so we're all done. I have no more pots on board. So let's go ahead and uh, change the management and have them rest, so even though they're not very tired, but, you know, anytime you can have them rest, it's, it's a good thing. There's two bits of food there, but it's okay, we don't really need them, we'll save them. Now, we're going to go to the map, we ended up with uh, about 5,300. These pots are about 16 hours, so we can go ahead and make our way to the top of this, you know, String. Get ready to haul it. By the time we get there, it should, it should be in 20 hours, but 16. Okay. So we'll go ahead and waste a little bit more time on circles. And there we go. Fast travel. 17 hours, 18 hours, 19 hours. I really want 20. It's 20. Alright, perfect. So now, get as close as we can to. There's the first one. The crew should be well rested. Yep, they're fully rested. So we're going to go ahead and set these back also since I figured there would be a lot of crab in them. I really feel like this, uh, this vessel should be all the upgrades should be a lot more than we were. Um, I mean, they, they really, you know, the real deal, they, they really are. They have to be nimble because you have to be bobbing back and forth to get traps. You have to be fighting all the forces out there. But if they don't make it, it's fine. I, mean, I understand that you have to have some kind of challenge in the game. So that's what I'm guessing. That's why they made it difficult when it's high seas. Warm. Go ahead and start bringing them up, and as you can see, they are loaded. Loaded to the ground. Go ahead and help them. It's a lot of crap, and they take that long to uh, to uh, empty the, the table or the, to empty the pot. It's a lot. Seven hundred and ninety one kilos, I'll take that. She said it already. So I took out a loan of I think of like three million chrome in order to buy this vessel again. I'd already bought it. I had taken out a loan for thirteen million and I you know I paid it off actually a few sets. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Just do know that this game will waste a lot of your time, which is, if that's what you're going for, if you just enjoying it, it's great. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it does, it does burn through a lot of time, it's, it's, it's too, to, you know, to keep doing this repetition. So, uh, you kind of get into it, and zone out if you want, and just keep doing it again and again. You can buy, you know, the other vessels, you can try the other fishing, Fish, you can go online. Um, they're still like control, so it's control. It's, it's pretty cool. I mean, they have a lot of different aspects of fishing. So, it'll expose you to, um, you know, not authentic, authentic, but uh, about as close as you can get. You can still be in a computer 
there's a lot of people that's in that bag. 